Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Talk Vlog. So today, I want to give you guys some inspiration behind my favorite and most popular photography book, Street Notes. So we published Street Notes um, a while back, and the point of Street Notes was having you, giving you a chance to explore, reflect, and shoot more street photos. And it's a distillation of everything I learned about street photography. So you guys might have seen it in the past video. We have the five yes, five no challenge. And now today I'm gonna to talk about the 10 no challenge. The basic concept of the 10 no challenge is for you to overcome your fears of getting rejected as quickly and efficiently as possible. So the point is you go out and you ask a bunch of strangers to make a portrait of them and you had to look for the scariest motherfuckers out there. You, int you intentionally try to get 10 no's as quickly as possible. And basically the purpose of this is for you to not become afraid of people based on their appearances and realize that often the scariest looking people could be the nicest people. And when you're approaching strangers and you're trying to get no as a rejection, it's actually really kind of fun because you could intentionally try to be creepy. Like uh, your approach a stranger be like, do you mind if I take a picture of you? And I've had students say it like that and then people will be like, uh, sure. So it's actually really funny in street photography. It's actually really, really difficult to get 10 no's. It's, it's much more, <laughs> it's much easier to get 10 yeses. But by trying to get 10 no's, it'll be a quick stimulus for you to overcome your fears and conquer your fears of approaching strangers. Also, when you're thinking of trying to get 10 no's, kind of ask yourself, what am I more afraid of? The fear of re the rejection or the rejection itself? Because often we think that people can say no, they're gonna punch us in the face, whatever. In reality, it's never that bad. And not only that, but there's a lot of people sometimes you think will say no, but they actually end up saying yes. And conversely, there's some people who you think will say yes, but actually end up saying no. And also kind of ask yourself the question, how am I going, how do I stereotype different folks? So for example, this is a picture I shot in downtown LA. Whenever I see a guy with a neck tattoo, it says Los Angeles, I always get a little bit afraid. And so I approach this guy and I, oh, excuse me, sir, you look pretty badass. Do you mind if I make a few portraits of you? He said, yeah, sure. And I ended up taking two pictures and he was just like the nicest, sweetest dude ever. And I actually do have a lot of friends who have tattoos or look quote quote scary in the traditional sense. They actually end up being the nicest people out there in photography. So even if I look through some of my favorite street portraits that I've shot over the years, generally there's just kind of such a huge variety and array of individuals who you think will actually say no, but actually end up saying yes. And for me, on a personal level, I'd rather actually have the courage to approach somebody and ask for permission to make a portrait of them rather than regretting not even having asked them at all. So realize that also when it comes to shooting street portraits, you actually do people, you give them a huge, huge opportunity to show off their cool outfits and essentially for you to bring joy into their lives. And even uh, as a quick preview, if I show you guys some of the contact sheets I've shot over the years, sometimes you'll see that people who you think will actually say no end up saying yes. And also when you're working the scene, it's so important to take many, many different photos. So this is a man that I photographed in the, the Mission in SF. And you can see I've, taught, I've taken a total of 69 images of him, but of the, the photos I shot at a closer distance, you essentially see how I had to keep working the scene. Some shots were with a flash, some shots were without a flash. And while I'm shooting this series of street portraits, essentially I'm trying to simplify the background. You can see in this picture, I said, oh, you know, do you mind if you play with your beard? He said, yeah, sure. And you can see a lot of these pictures, the background's too messy. And it wasn't until, the, then you can see the other shots of <laughs> his super epic beard, but it wasn't actually until the last shot where I got the best image. So that's why it's really good to approach people who you don't think will say yes and essentially work the scene. So uh, for more inspiration, if you want to pick a copy of Street Notes, Google Eric Kim, oops, Eric Kim Street Notes. Also, it's available on Amazon, so you could buy it directly from our shop if you want to help support us, or you could buy it on Amazon. And lots of good reviews. Also, there's a Kindle edition or a PDF edition if you want to stay a little bit more low-key. Also, check out the menu on the blog. There's a shop. 
you could check out a copy of Street Notes Mobile Edition. So it's the PDF and Kindle file for you to stay inspired regardless of where you are. Uh, so lots of other cool street photography assignments to come. Thanks a lot for watching guys and whenever in doubt, ask for permission. Peace out.